Okay, hey everybody, how you doing? Lazarus here, welcome back to Let's Play Lana Lana 2. Had a little bit of technical difficulties there, it was weird, like it kicked me out. Really good internet, I don't know why that happened. I was trying to use my phone, I just wanted to test out the stream chat, but maybe that was what triggered it, because it's my own user twice, or something, or maybe the op- I don't know, I don't know. But, um, yeah, we're okay now, I think. Or we just be having internet trouble. I mean, it's, it's certainly not impossible. It's just not probable. But yeah, anyhow, last episode, we um, fought a boss. It was, it was harder than I wanted it to be. I had to use all of our shurikens to kill it. Because I was trying to do it with just the whip, and that was just not even remotely cutting it. So, alright, where do we need to go? We um, found another soul gate. There's another soul gate in Anvil. And it requires two Guardian Souls to open, so we did that. Oh, I want to kill that thing. I want to kill one of those. Bad ghost. I, I don't even know why I'm fighting all these guys. It doesn't really matter in this game. So there's experience points. Elephants can climb ladders. So that's the thing you now know, is that elephants can climb ladders. Huh. Actually, I think they, they could come in letters in the first game, too. The Fat Elephants from Chamber of Birth. But yeah, this a second soul door leads to Shrine of the Frost Giants once again. So, Shrine of the Frost Giants is the back of Anfwen. And, um, yeah. Somewhere in here is that room we can encounter through the Corridor of Blood. That really, really sucks. And has that mini-boss in it that makes us dead very quickly. Yeah, that room's out there, so we could end up stumbling into that at any point in time. Anyhow, this is the destroyed branch. It has no counter. Kind of weird. So is this not the back side of anything? I don't know about that. Also, there's a bunch of snow down there. I don't know what that's going to do when we step on it. Yeah, look at... Wow, your hair is intense. Um, there are six gates in Eglana known as the Corridor of Blood. The starlight decorations above the gates can be tuned by di to be turned by dissonance. Turning the gates will change the place to which the corridor of blood leads. All we know, all I know, is that this was the work of the sky people who visited this land long ago. Okay, so when we sucked up all that spooky purple ghost fart after the second boss fight and put it in that little face gem, we can tune the corridor of blood and presumably go to different locations. Oh yeah. It's just cartoonishly silly noises. I feel that's not really necessary. Hey, Morrigan, huh? It's snowy. So this is like Lady on Broom here. Okay, that's a Baba Yaga. I see. Witch lady. Oh, give me the money. Give me all the money. Right, well, yeah. I mean, there's gotta be two areas with ice. Okay, yeah, these things do a fuckload of damage, don't they? I don't think we're fighting them with the whip. That seems like a no-no. Oh man, I really need the axe, dude. So I guess, yeah, Shrine of the Frost Giants is a backside. There's also a mortal battlefield. Go there, too. What good that will serve, I do not know. Uh, well. Yeah, I mean, there's... We could also... I mean, with what we were just told, we could go to the Corridor of Blood. And... Let's see what it does. Yeah, I'm sure that's something we'll need to do eventually, but I don't know about right now. I just want to kill those fucking things, dude. How many hits do they think they take? Yeah, that was not smart. That was not skilled. A better weapon would really be, like, very helpful. Not so bad, I gotta get, I 
I'm getting used to fighting with the whip again. I've practiced with the knife for so long just because I want that extra damage. But yeah, we need to keep our distance here. Especially with the fucking ice bullshit. Okay. Take two. Knock her off, get out of the way, and then... I think that's a decent strategy for you. So I'm gonna jump down the hole this time. Yeah, it's been over here. It's this room again. Wow, that is a lot of weights that they want me to use. What was that? What is that? What are you doing? Don't, don't do that shit to me. Don't. Lingor. What good does that even do, dude? Like, look, you just come up in the same freaking room anyway. After you wasted, like, 63 kajillion weights. There is a fairy who bends weapons to its whim. They will bring the... They who bring the weapon fairy Kara will very... Will verily surpass their potential. Okay, yeah, there's a weapon fairy, I know that. And there's a key fairy. And there's a money fairy. Okay. I, I didn't see what that one was, so let's go to the boss right here. To Ungor. The frogs and those rainbow serpents. Mere experience gave them arms and legs. In fact, they were boomerangs. Okay. I've seen those. Which is in the forest. Okay. What's, what's uh, Morrigan? I haven't really been looking at too many of these. I do feel like it's kind of waste time. Right? I've gone some destruction, darting across the battlefield. One more button. I keep hitting the wrong button, man. Venomous goddess of war. Lovely. Sounds great. Okay, another seal we're gonna have. We definitely can go up. I mean, I'm assuming that in order for us to... Let's go up. We'll do up. And we'll just up made itself available right then. Uh, up! We are way up. So, alright. Uh, let's not get smushed. No! Oh, fucking shenanigans on that. Okay, let's wait for it again. I should probably scan that thing, like that mural in the background. Or that stone carving in the background. I have not been paying much attention to the background, and that's definitely something you have to do for certain puzzles. At least it wasn't... Yeah, I kind of figured that was what was going to happen. A pillar polished to a mirror sheen. The means to grab onto it and swing around, the tool to grab onto walls, lies where fire and ice rage. Okay, I mean, we've, we've done that. We've got that already. All good with that. What are you guys? Oh, this... It's a triplet. Yeah, it's a triple... Triple fight here. I think the important thing to do, as soon as possible, we get numbers advantage. Man, there's just a lot of the stupid fucking bat, dude. Got the bats. We gotta get those bats. Gotta go. Also, bat generator. She's gotta go. Are, she, are the other ones gonna get back up if I don't kill them quick enough? damage, but they are pretty annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Oh, the other one up. Pokemon has a boomerang. I didn't even know that was returning. I didn't even notice it was returning to it. Okay, that's two. That's three. Alright. Oh, good. Yeah. Probably should have known that this was going to get a lot worse. Yeah, I don't know about this right now. anyway. I wonder 
what you get for killing that. So we gotta be way more careful on the first part of the fight. It does too much damage. No grail point in there. That's... I'd like to find the grail point first, alright? Before we start doing that. So we'll go, um, instead of going up the elevators, we'll go across. Or, like, another HP sphere. It feels like it's been a goddamn eternity since we got an HP upgrade. Because it pretty much has. We've been playing for, like, the last probably eight or nine hours. And have not gotten another HP upgrade yet. We still only have the two. There should be eight, is my guess. We'll the last game. And it looks like about eight of them would fill up that bar. But yeah, 96 HP is just not that much. That was terrible that time. Right, let's be smart this time and just like fuck all of these guys. Fuck them all. And let's just go. There we go. Also, we need to use the whip because we can't get too close to anything on the platform. I see. Oh. Fuck that. Yeah, I want. If, the, if there's a immunity to bats item in this game as well, that would be just plain lovely. Weights seem to be at a freaking premium in here, too. There's just a lot of doors that require Way more so than we've been seeing in other areas. Like, I'd love to read what that thing says down there. It's probably pretty useful, seeing as how it costs too much waste to go down there and read it. But uh, we'll leave it for right now, because I don't feel like going down there. That's like five weights. Okay, so we think about all that shit when we have to... Oh, wow, there, well, there's the grail point. Okay, so we've got that going for us, at least. Four fucking weights to get through this. It's a little much, buddy. Come on. We're not made of little stone cylinders here, right? Up, up here we go, and another Grail tablet. This is the Shrine of the Frost Giants, the last lands of the extinct, extinct second children. <laughs> Yep, so that is in our selection wheel now. This is a front side. What is this fucking thing? And it's just going block nutty. Okay. Halapoen. Hal Halapoen. Huelapen. Huelapen. Not a sheep, but a cow monster. It's just a woolly cow monster. So I mean here quest of the day is like, well, do we go um, left or right? Or left or down. Like, I know my my numbers. My directions. Oh uh, jeez. Okay, they are dead. What does Mr. Skellyman say? I don't like the slipping on ice noise. It's pretty irritating. Here I lie after being chased by furries for so long. I will not convert. Okay, so the furries do. They want to convert us. Oh, we, gotta, we just got to drop in from the top, it seems. Light leaks from between the mirror sheen pillars. Okay. That seems important. Shurikens. Not bad. Alright, so... Is. Oh, can I go all the way down? Is that a thing? Oh, I bet I know how. There we go. Fuck yo. Who gave these frogs boomerangs anyway? Okay, the which is correct goop. That which is correct goes unscathed. That which is mistaken and perceived justice by sword. Oh, that sounds wonderful, yes. There is an eyeball. We do have an eyeball in here. So that's probably blocked? Yes. Uh, 
say, I was about to say, please be a regen fairy, but like, we can only get regen fairies when the other one's unlocked yet. That's a one way door. So there's two paths here. And I don't like this one. Let's go see the top one. Fuck that noise. Or never mind, we're already down here, so let's just take the fucking bottom one and waste like six more weights. Fuck me, right? Okay, here we go. Let's be smart. We hear her on the other side of this thing. And we can pop this sigil. Helps, but it probably does. Okay. Solid fight on the ice. Anything takes more than one hit sucks to fight on the ice. Okay, so life is begotten of the cold soil. The birth schedule lies in the depths of deep, deep snow. So birth schedule, I want all that. That's definitely what we're on. What, what we're kind of aiming for right now. That's the next sigil. That would unlock so much shit, also. Climb up. What we do is we're trying to drop through. Oh, no, we can't. See? That's why we broke that open. If we, we, only, we won't get through this snow unless we fall from all the way up, I bet. Yep. So, we need to get to a room above this one. Okay. Oh. Well, okay. That's relatively simple. Now this is open. You know, don't screw up my jump, dude. Sure. Boom! We are downstairs now. For what it's worth. So we can go back up. Or we can... Thing. You are really pissing me off. But this is such a Would you fuck the hell off, please? Just let me get the goddamn thing. Is that even get the goddamn thing? I don't know if it is. 20 weights, huh? 20 weights left. That's not good. And if I bust all of these, is it something about light and the pillar? There's definitely light here. I want it! Give it to me! We got like one HP! Oh! Birth sigil! Get me the fuck out of here! Oh! Get me the fuck out of here! We got it! We kept it! We're good? We're good. Listen to your stupid fucking email after that. Now, we've just unlocked a whole bunch more shit, so we gotta do a sweep. We absolutely have to do a sweep now. Oh, I know, there's, there's that sigil in Roots of the Yggdrasil. We can actually open up another door there now. So that's that's a zone portal. I know I remember that much. Okay. So here we go. Here's Phobos. It seems that the six children can hold power in Eglana. The fairy queen and her ilk are also the six children, but their views differ from the other six children. They must be of a different tribe. Unlike other children, it is said that the six children were split into different races. If you could distinguish not only between the different races, but the different tribes too, then it would become easier to solve riddles. We gotta know the names of all these various critters. Well, it does actually have the um, glossary. So I guess we can figure things out as needed with that. Let's talk on by the elder here. See what he has to say. Absolutely nothing. Enjoy your host, Professor. It's fine. No, don't help me. But elder, whatever. Be good. We're good. So I mean, should we start with roots? So we gotta, we gotta scan basically everything now, because I don't know where all the sigils are. Let's start with roots. 
seems like a good place to start the first zone. And also, we I do know that there is something I, there's something I can do. I strongly remember there being something here. I strongly remember there being a lot of things that were beginnable if we had the sigil. Which is the right one, right? Yes. That's the right one. So where are we going? Yeah. Left was the earth. What's upper? Yeah, what's upper right? I don't even remember that. I feel like it's down. I feel like the thing I saw was in the lower part of the map. But I could be mistaken. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I just don't remember what was up in this little nook here. So, like, that's a squisher. Okay. These things are slow. Oh yeah, we're bringing bats into it now. That's my favorite. Oh. Once again, fuck you, Pikachu. Never mind, this was the room I was thinking of. So... Maybe it down... Oh, maybe the... Oh, my God, I get it. Ooh, a bunch of shurikens. Very nice. So, this is pretty easy to... No, not like that. You just you can't walk off the edge. That's not a thing that works in this game. Close. Or maybe it does maybe that does open it permanently. That kinda makes sense. That was a shortcut. You wouldn't have to drop through and do that again. So where do we go now? Oh, we're on the Immortal Battlefield again. Have we been to this room of the Immortal Battlefield before? I have no idea. This place is so fucking big. Oh yeah, I forgot you can do that. Hey, journal notes. Research notes. Yeah, I forgot that those things like to throw bombs at you. And there's an Ankh Jewel that's pretty much guaranteed to be fucking fake. I would like to clean up the skeleton mess in here first. We can leave that guy for right now. So, I mean, yeah, this is this Ankh Jewel is fake. It's gonna explode with a bunch of bats or some shit. It would be in a chest. There's just no way. And they did that in the previous game. So, there are as many Mala Prayer Beads as... There are as many Mala Prayer Beads as worldly desires. Beads weave together those whose desires drive them to fight tirelessly, even after their lives are exhausted. That's a one-shot now? That's totally reasonable. Yeah, I knew it was fake. I was expecting bats. One hit instant death beam that hits you at a distance. Like I didn't actually touch the fucking thing. Whatever. I mean, we knew it was a trap. It was pretty damn obvious, but so, I, mean, I guess a mortal battlefield is what it's all about right now. Just you know. It's a really amusing game, but like the bullshittiness does get out of control from time to time. No, no, you almost die. You almost die. Especially you now, Pikachu. I hate you most of all. Which is not really true. I really hate the bats most of all. Because they are just pure RNG bullshit. Sometimes they stay out of your way, sometimes they don't. It doesn't stay open. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I was about to say, it doesn't stay open, open permanently. Yeah, well, if you don't, you know, save and die, then it's need that money. I need all of the monies. Too low. 
It's more exact than you'd think. Or maybe it isn't, I don't know. It's like, why did you do that little feeble jump off the wall that time? I have no idea. There we go. Break that. Unlock that. Alright, back to the Immortal Battlefield. So let's see what we got going on here now. Definitely want those research papers. I want that too. Cute little orange dude. He's, he's kind of cute. He's still our enemy, but he is. They are kind of cute. Now this thing. I don't think we can hit him. Take that, thank you. Oh, that's right, we have the picture of the ability to take pictures of certain things now. I can't even, I forgot all about that. I only skipped playing one day, and I already forgot things we did the previous day. Yeah, the fly flying machine created for the purpose of observation within the ruins. Larger models were once built in more time, but the only mass reduced smaller models. Only the mass produced smaller models have been found in Eglana. Okay, so they are like the big ones in Tower of the Goddess. They have poor functionality, bombing both enemies and allies alike. Yeah, I've noticed that. Like and pro. Bear, that's this dude. So, it's that weird old guy. Great. So, Alright, let's move on. I'm not really sure what we're coming out. Oh, I see Sigil. That was a tricky jump there. There exists a gate to the spiral boat, a gate sealed by nine souls, somewhere in Eglon. Nine? Okay. More guardians? Like a nine soul gate. I'm going to declare shenanigans on that. Alright. Take it again from the top. Looking forward to playing some Minecraft tomorrow. I have not played it in a very long time. and I mean, Granted, my mod pack does have a whole lot of dickish moments, but there's not that... Not the, it's not the same scope and caliber of dickish moments that this game has. Let's just go, alright? We don't... I do not have all night. Maybe I do. I have plenty of time. Tons. Time out the ass. We're made of time. It's Kelly, man. I'm tired of your shit. I'm too bad, 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 bad. Enough of you. See, you, you want to rush. That's pretty much what it is. Is that you just want to be on the other side already. Like, we've already passed through this room before. I don't want to do this again. If you're not patient, you gotta be patient. They, they will make you wait. Not waiting is not possible, so, I mean... I'm wondering about the permanence of that, like, shortcut or pathway that we're going through before. Just totally lose my train of thought here. Yeah, I mean, there's, there was another route we could follow. And also, we don't have three bosses down, so I mean... Why won't you jump? Why won't you fucking jump? 
Oh, now you do when you're too far down. Sweet fucking Christ. Yeah, I can see the merits. I don't get it. There, okay. Off the sigil. share of breakable walls yet. Like, there's probably some that we missed. Alright. Do not stand under that thing. It will fuck you with bombs. Alright, cool. HP refill. Skeleton. We could have blown up the skeleton, too. If you just drop that a little bit sooner, we would have less skeletons in our hands now. Alright, so, journal. We got a journal page. We haven't looked at it yet. So let's take a check. Take a little peek see into this thing about the second children, which were the giants. The second children are said to have lived in the Shrine of the Frost Giants. However, it is written in surviving text that these second children were wiped out through civil war within the ruins of Bonalana. If you saw the first game, you definitely saw that in the Mausoleum and the Graveyard of the Giants. It wasn't the Giants who were in the Shrine of the Frost Giants, but a number of the Locopala. It appears that none of the second children remain in Eglana either. So there are no Giants left. We literally killed the last one in the previous game. But he was shooting his rocket fist at us, you know, we had to do self-defense. Anyhow, the Civil War among the second children was caused by the nine siblings who held power at the time. Text detail nine siblings. Zebu, Beto, Miguela, Leto, Fudo, Abudo, G, Rebu, and Sakit. Sakit was the boss. If, if you didn't play the first game. Anyhow, detailed information on these siblings can be found accompanying some very nice stone statues found around the ruins of Lan Lan, now a tourist spot. Possibly due to the fact that they were indeed giants, this race turned out to provide an excellent workforce. It is said that among all the various races born from the mother over the centuries, it was they who came closest to achieving the final goal of returning the mother to space. They had apparently been successful in making contact with extraterrestrial beings, and they made it as far as developing a ro rocket ship technology, but even these advancements did not provide the power required to send the huge mother off into space. This is where opinions were divided. Continuing to continue trying returning mother to space, or resign themselves to the fact that the mother would remain here on Earth. The nine siblings split into two opposing factions, leading to war. According to the text inside La Milana, it was the youngest brother, Sakit, who ultimately wiped out both sides of the conflict. Nothing is known about Sakit's motives or intentions. This is some back lore about maybe the first game. It sounded like it was more relevant to the first game. I feel like the giants, I mean, they are, there's not even the last, the last giant here anymore. We're like 100% out of giants at this point. Okay, spiral boat, gate sealed by nine souls. Ain't that lovely. So we definitely want to pop this, because that's going to connect up. You know? Yes, and that stops. There we go. Okay. That was what the sign meant about believe. 
you must believe that unlike all other cases, you will not get fucked this time. <laughs> if you move here. Good. Oh my. This is concerning. I believe that's the poison flavor of lava too. As was mentioned by the other. It's, you know, worse than regular lava. I am not looking forward to getting under that fucking thing and having a bad encounter. Close encounter the bat kind. Ooh! Noms. We need that. But we need these noms. These, these noms are essential to our future progress here. How the fuck would we do that? Because they're going to reset when we change screens, right? It is like the Twin Labyrinths. This is two zones next to each other. Because we already had one for the Immortal Battlefield, and it was a regular one. This zone is so big because it's its own backside. So yeah, this is exactly like the Twin Labyrinths. But, uh, how do we do this? Like... I mean, you see what I'm thinking here? Like, you're gonna come onto the screen, push one of the blocks over, and then... Unless they don't reset. We can check and see if they don't reset. Yeah, they do reset, though. Then, let's read the thing. There's a, there's a thing. There's a stone tablet here. Let's take a look and see what it has to say to us. After we deal with Skelly Man. Power be bestowed on those who can withstand body melting heat. Okay, so we need the ice cloak, and it must do something if you pass through the lava. Because you can see from where the blocks are. Oh, never mind, okay. You go through the lower level first, push that one down. Then you can jump up, swim through the lava if you have the um, ice cloak. Use those, use the stairs there, the ladder, to push the second block. That's how you do it. I gotcha. But we don't have the, we don't have the ice cave, nor do we even have the vaguest inclination of where it might be at this current juncture in time. Also, what the fuck those triangle things? I mean, we've seen a couple of those. What the hell are they? Please, Ske Skelly Man. Skelly Man! No, it's thoroughly unnecessary. Oh, he looks so silly when he falls on his butt. No clue what that is. I mean, this looks like a death squish. Nero was having an amazing vacation abroad until I drunk my stomach in here. Too hunger, too hungover to move. I didn't bring anything with me. Five days of blubbering about it hasn't got me anywhere. Yep, I'm a goner. Oh right, before I go, watch out for the trap in front of me. Ah, oh, a little too late. I don't know if a single skeleton has had anything useful to say the entire game. Like they've pretty much all been jokes. What does this say? Beyond Nidog's gate, there lies a tool bunch on the walls. Okay. Oh, we've been here before. We have been here before. And it did say that. Ooh! Am I just saying we haven't found enough breakable walls? Hey, could you, could you please? Please? Um... Excuse me. Really? Really? That's a totally different sigil. Ah, like, seriously, how the fuck do you even get that? You can't jump off the ladder. You must need a double jump to hit it. Because you can't come off this ladder. You'll fall straight down based on the stupid falling... The jumping physics. This is where you fall absolutely straight down in a completely unearth-like manner. Oh boy. I mean, this is the pit of time. I bet you once you fall in here, you're fucked. Nope. Oh, that was almost real bad, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's see what we got for the um the other notes here. The fifth children. The remaining survivors of the fifth children are enclosed within the Gate of the Dead. 
race known as the Inid, and apparently they are sealed off deep down in one of the branching areas, together with their enemy race, the Armana. The Amarna. The cause of their fighting is unknown. It is likely that the Inid are fighting against the Armana. Amar, yeah, the Amara. Amarna. Because the Amarna are looking to seize power. Not yet having spoken with the Inid people, this is all I can say with confidence. Compared with the previous races, it seems as though the fifth children were created to be much more intelligent than their predecessors. One would assume that the mother realized that having too much power had caused previous races to set their sights on the power of the mother herself, and therefore creates created a smaller, more intelligent race. Consequently, inside Eglana, which is filled with an eclectic mix of the various races, these people are referred to as dwarves. However, too much intelligence can also become a form of great power. Their high intelligence caused them to fear their own mortality, regardless of the fact that they had much longer natural lifespans than we modern humans. So the fifth children continue their research into technologies and methods for escaping death, as well as for creating life itself. The races remaining in the Moana constructs a massive pyramid and plan to utilize it in an attempt to absorb the mother's power. Is that Nuas pyramid in the Tower of Ruin, I think? Possibly seeing these behaviors as a form of blasphemy or sacrilege against herself, the mother used her power to throw the language of the fifth children in confusion. Now unable to communicate properly amongst themselves, let alone with the other races, the fifth children started fighting each other and eventually wiped themselves out through war. However, the life-bearing machine created by the fifth children, the Tree of Life, was used by the mother as a tool. She was now able to create life and subsequently a new workforce without using any of her own power. Born from this Tree of Life, the race known as the Six Children, were aesthetically similar to modern man. Having been created from clay, their lifespans are immensely longer than ours. It was these six children for whom the influence of the mother was considerably weakened, and began to consider sealing the mother away. Oh. Okay. Onward. I mean, I don't know where, I don't know where we're going. But onward anyway. Oh, we're, we're trying to pop sigils. There's more sigils we gotta find. This is, this is like the pit of fuck. We don't want to be in the pit of fuck. Nope. Okay, so the heatproof case is not a thing in this game. You don't have to pass through there once, but... Oh, you wouldn't... The only reason, like, I could I could envision myself being able to fall through and just tank the damage real quick, but the only reason I fell down that far through it was because I it came from the screen above. Alright, so that's where that goes. There were more of these, though. What else we got? Time. Uh, we can go for a little longer, I think. Actually, you know what? I am. I'm gonna break the, the videos up for YouTube now. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, click the little red subscribe button down below, and you'll be notified whenever new episodes of this series and any other series I'm making go live. If you're enjoying things, just drop me a like down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Hey, if you can leave a comment too, I'd love to hear from you. So thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.